Done is always hot car, but we're looking forward to seeing some hot action now out of the GNH Transport Extreme Supercars. And it always is, Greg. It really is. This is what a lot of the fans have come out to see. These big cars go around the SWAT Cops Raceway. Oh, man, we've got some expensive cars in there. Porsches, Ferraris, you name it, even a Subaru. It's about keeping those four wheels on the track. Now, keep an eye out on Lee Thompson in the Cirrus Holding BMW 335i, taking on Mr. Kyle Army himself, Toby Fenter, in the Porsche GT2R. That's the front rows, they head down towards turn number one. We're on board with Dion Duplessis and the KTM Crossbow. And a bit further back, this is the GNH Transport 325 Ti of Darby Ulefier. If one man knows his way around this racetrack, it is Lee Thompson. We've seen him in national production cars. We've seen him in every four-wheel category just about in South African motorsport. As we go on board here with Des Broom now, he's in the custom shop BMW onto the back straight. Yeah, he's got a Ford Focus there just ahead of him. He's going to try and get drive and cut it on the inside at Sean Dumini. We've also seen him a top national competitor. So real big names in this class, Greg. Yeah, it's great to see. Lee Thompson leads out over Toby Fenter at the moment. Johanna Engelbrecht in the Jogo Jogo Porsche is in third place all the way from Cape Town. Yeah, they come up to the top of the hill. Under braking, it's uh, Jonathan Detroy closing in. Then you've got that work Subaru. And uh, keep an eye out on Anton Cronier. Remember how well he was going down at Desi and on the last lap blew the turbo and unfortunately was out of the race. He's now in a fifth place position in the GNH Supercars. And behind him comes that uh, GT1 Ford of Oliver DeLay. Now, Greg, I love the categories here. We've got Class A+, plus, Class A, B and C. Andy, so uh, what does A plus actually mean? Yeah, it's just A with a little plus. <laughs> that little bit extra is what you require. You know, extraordinary and ordinary, it's that little bit extra. Right, it looks like a little bit extra being put on uh, pressure from Jonathan Detoy trying to find a way through on the Engelbrecht. And Johan Engelbrecht has got an absolute beast of a Porsche underneath his uh, right foot. This is Darren Winterboer, all the way from Bulawaya. He's had a phenomenal season and really has been uh, one of the finds of the season in the extreme supercars. We saw Charles Rungis dominate the East London run, not doing so well yet at the moment. Ninth on track, but leading out in Class C. So doing a, a great job there to lead out in the Class Cs. And Desmond Bloom there running in Class D. He's just behind Sean Dumini. As we go on board here with Dion Duplessis, look at him fighting that KTM crossbow because that thing has got some serious horsepower. Yeah, it really goes well, particularly at this circuit. Short and uh, point and squirt stuff, as you can see, on the brakes and hard on the accelerator. So the KTM crossbow's handling ability really comes to play here. Unfortunately, just not able to get through on the bigger cars just yet. And Engelbrecht is keeping that third place very much in his draft. But he's got massive pressure coming from that 430 Ferrari. Remember you mentioned Charles Larange is a bit further back in Class C battle. He's actually in the 360 option. The Ferrari that he normally drives and his Lamborghini still under development. So they're not quite ready for the season. And there you can see him going up the inside of Darren Winterboer. Oh, you are the, the Dars on track at the moment. Johan Engelbrecht in that Porsche, Porsche is making it so wide. You can see him going so defensive. And you can see there's just racing all over the track. And we've got a problem for look like one of the Nissan GTs. Yeah, that's Jordan Sheridan, unfortunately, getting out of shape and off the circuit. Remember, he was second overall in the race down at Desi. So uh, not quite going the way that the youngster wanted. He's also only 15 years of age. He's going to be uh, participating in that Audi TT Cup internationally in a very, very short period of time. We wish him all the very best, but that's not the way to get into it. You can't be parking it. And speaking of parking it, Gianni Giannacora pulling into pit lane with an overheating GNH Transport BMW. Oh, disaster for that, man. But we saw earlier the Desmond Bloom's BMW on Charles Larange's Ferrari up that hill. It was incredible to see, but that man, Lee Thompson, no problems out front for him. Toby Fenter picks up second place, Johan Engelbrecht in third, and Jonathan Detoy rounding out the top four. It was obviously it ended well for me. Uh, we were a bit worried because I didn't know uh, what the, the, the pace of, of uh, Toby was going to be. Seeing that last year, last year he got me towards the end of the race. But uh, the car is wonderfully prepared by Freddy Pretorius at fast developments. Uh, we cut a bit of weight out of the car and it's definitely much better to drive this year. Heading straight into race number two now. They're all lined up in the pre-race paddock and uh, that man would like to be a little bit further up the field. But he's got to try and find a way to catch Toby Fenter. And I think Toby Fenter's turned a few screws in between the races to get sorted out to take on Lee Thompson. And as a go at him into turn one. Yeah, Lee Thompson still the man to beat. And actually, Greg, quite a decent bike rider around Swat Cups as well. Done a couple of laps with him, so he certainly knows his way around the track. But Darren Winterboer didn't have a particularly good race number one, but he's right up there dicing with the men now that he wants to be trying to get hard on the gas. You've got to be careful because big ponies. Oh, look at Dwemini putting that Ford Focus on the inside onto the back straight. Yeah, trying to find a way through. Remember, fighting for Class D honors there, Winterboer and Dwemini. And that's the Class C Ferrari of Arunji just ahead of them. Here comes the KTM crossbow into their clutches. It looks like a is going to have a... Ooh, 
Are we going to see a little bit of tapping on the back end of a Ferrari from Durbany? He did it to Des Blum down at uh, Desi's Raceway. Oof. Slightly different look and feel up onto the braking markers. How was that maneuver from Darren Vinterboer? Take that as they head up into Sassel Corner. Germany was uh, caught napping ever so slightly, watching Charles Larangis. Didn't see the Baron's car coming, and he's moved up ahead of him. Unfortunately, Charles Larangis definitely looks like he's holding that group up. He's got the power on that Ferrari, but struggling to get it around some of the turns. So really a sitting duck at the moment. But Lee Thompson already pulling out that lead ahead of Toby Fenter. And the dice is definitely for third place. Anton Cronier and Jonathan Detoy with Johan Engelbrecht. Not the race we saw in race number one, number one, sorry, down in fifth place. Kind of a BMW dominance here. Class A being led out, or A+, plus being led out by a BMW of Lee Thompson. As you can see, Germany fighting for uh, third place there. And in fact, the KTM crossbow is not even involved in that. Des Blum, though, is. And he's going to be coming up on the back end of Germany looking for opportunities. These two are going to be fighting and uh, probably a bit of retribution, as it uh, always happens. Once that red mist comes down, it's great to see the rivalries resumed after a previous round. Paul Hill in the Kalex BMW going a lot better. And slowly but surely getting development into his machine. And looks like he's uh, beating Nicky Dix at this stage. So, uh, nice drive from him. This is the other BMW I want to mention. He's leading Class D. And remember, Darby Ulefier is leading Class B in the GNH Transport BMW. And That's why I said BMW dominance. And we've got a Class E car as well. Scholl Smallberger in the VW. He's leading Class E. But Des Blum, how fast is this BMW? You can see him fighting that steering wheel. Listen to the RPMs. Just climbing as he's asking for acceleration. As Duermany, he's got the drive and down into the turn one. The final turn, sorry. He's got the line. But Blum definitely has the horsepower on that BMW. Oh, look at them. Side by side action. It's brilliant stuff heading down into turn one now. Bloom having to give uh, a slight advantage there and the Hulk unfortunately lost out to the focus. Now they come under braking for turn two. Paul Hill now putting pressure onto the back. Here comes Nicky Dix, Class B Ferrari. That's a 430 machine all over the back and sneaking through on Paul Hill. And Greg out front, Toby Fenter has closed that gap on Lee Thompson. So the eight plus cars out front, Anton Cronier leading the Class A is running third on track at the moment with Davi Olafia running in six on track but leading class B but look at this Toby Fenter right on the tail of Lee Thompson you know, Thompson definitely uh, backing out ever so slightly and giving uh, Toby Fenter maybe a little bit of false sense of security I don't think that Toby's going to be able to get him onto the brakes no Thompson just shuts the door check it flag about to come out and a double victory on the day goes to Lee Thompson Toby Fenter though will be happy with the improvements on that Porsche GT2R then it was Lee Thompson taking overall honours ahead of Toby Fenter Darby Olafia picking up the B class honours we caught up with Anton Cronier class A winner in the race, I was quite far in front, and unfortunately, the bolt on the tensioner broke down. So, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a big one. Uh, I lost an engine, but luckily, I had a spare engine for this race here at Swartcock. We put it in, we haven't done it and so on, but we set it up for running. And uh, so, we're not making the power we should to run with Toby and, and Lee, but uh, we'll get there. And uh, I've just got one problem now that my uh, rear arm broke, but uh, Freddie is fixing it, but we'll be ready for race three. Three races on the day for the extreme supercars. I wonder if that little turn of events between uh, Toby Fenter and, of course, the Cirrus holding BMW of Lee Thompson might just come into play now. This is uh, the aerial material view as they head down into turn one. And already pressure being applied there from Darby Ulefier. Wow, incredible drive from the Class B man. He's already taken two wins in Class B. And he's now putting pressure onto Engelbrecht all the way from Cape Town. He wants to mix it up with the Class A and A-plus drivers. Dion Duplessis, oh, listen to him. Trying to get on the power in that KTM. And sounds like he's got some problems with that KTM actually going onto the back straight. It was in neutral coming onto the back straight. So I don't think he's got any drive whatsoever. If he has, it's very little. It's not the kind of drive that he'd like to have. Nicky Dix with a much better start there in the 4.30 now, putting pressure onto the 3.60 that Charles Larangis is in. Germany once again resumes the battle between himself and the two BMWs of Winterboer and, of course, Des Blum just behind them. Look at Toby Fenter. He was up on the curve trying to make the pass on Lee Thompson at the top of the hill. So Toby Fenter, he doesn't want to pick up another second place. He's sick of it. He wants to beat that BMW out front and hopefully sell some more Porsches. Only way you're going to do that is by winning. Yeah, you got to win it. <laughs> Otherwise, they're not going to sell. BMW looks like it is the car to have you, as I mentioned earlier on. A bit of a dominance in each of the categories, but great to see such an array of cars, including Charles Wahlberger's Class E Golf, and of course, the, the Porsche 911 of Georgia Vakamidis, Mr. MSA, down in Class F and leading that category. Davi Ulefier, the Class B man, leading out Class B, but he's right in the mix of the Class A and A+. Pluses. He's right on the tail of Jonathan Detoy. So that's a great drive there from the BMW man. Car 77, and that's the beautifully prepared Subaru of Anton Cronier running in third place. 
on track and in the A plus category. Doing a great job of it. So A plus one, two, and three on track right now. Class A is in fourth place with Engelbrecht, but you mentioned the fact that Engelbrecht is under pressure from Detroit and Olivier. So there's a possibility for a change up there. Three BMWs behind, I think that was the Ford Focus. I just want to double check that. Yes, indeed. Germany with three BMs hunting him down, looking for opportunities. Oh, Toby Fenter is all over the tail of Lee Thompson. So Lee Thompson really going to have to make that BMW as wide as possible. Toby Fenter using all the experience that he has in that Porsche to try and make the pass. He hasn't bettered Lee Thompson at all today. Lee Thompson has led every single lap of all three races so far. So Toby Fent has got a lot of work to do to get ahead of Lee Thompson in that BMW. Speaking of ahead, Detroit's got ahead there of the Jogger Jogger Porsche of Johan Engelbrecht. On how long that's going to last. And at this stage, still a run. Oh! That's Winterberg getting out of shape and taking Bloom out. Bloom has been taken out unceremoniously again. Wow, it's just not going the way of Des Bloom and the custom shop BMW, man. Yeah, you can see they came out. Bloom, unfortunately, just got a little bit out of shape. Heads into turn one. They come through BMW Performance Corner. Three BMWs, almost three abreast. Oh, and there's just not enough room there. And Darren Winterberg goes off the grass and bang, into the custom shop BMW. Two BMs into turn two. We're next con corner. You can buy some secondhand BMW parts. Yeah, Winterberg just got on the dirt and he was trying to apply the brakes. And as we all know, you cannot brake on the dirt. So really nothing he could do there. But Lee Thompson is out front. He's extended that gap a little bit now. And Toby Fenter who's really going to have to pull something out of the hat. If he's going to try and pick up this one, he's going to fade to the inside. He's not going to even do that. Lee Thompson is going to seal race number three win here and pick up all three wins for the day. Great drive from the BMW man. A plus going to Lee Thompson ahead of Toby Fenter and Anton Cronier eventually surviving for third place overall in class A+. Toby Fenter had a great day. Let's find out how it went behind the wheel. Well, we were neck and neck right from the start to the finish. He made a mistake and I tried to take him up at the tabletop, but he moved to close the door. But we were both on old tyres and uh, we didn't want to damage. I didn't want to damage this car because it's a, a, a very valuable collector's Porsche. And it went really well. We look forward to seeing more action down in the Mother City on the 24th of October as we head there for the penultimate round of the Extreme Festival.